A challenge faced by many analysts is planning out a worksheet with the intent of putting it into a dashboard. You want to try to fit as much as you can onto that dashboard without making it cluttered or difficult to read. This is compounded by not knowing the size of the end user's display. Will the user be doing this on a large desktop or will they be doing it on a tablet device? We don't always know. We need to have some kind of technique that allows us to get across a lot of information in a small space that is still legible and easy to manage and work with. One such technique is the bar in bar chart. Bar in bar is very, very useful for comparing different pieces of data, putting that into a small space such as a dashboard, and still getting our message across. We can use this without having to stack or expand out an axis. Let's build a worksheet that allows us to compare our 2015 sales against our 2016 sales. We'll then take that and see how it looks when placed onto a dashboard. Create a new worksheet, rename that sheet YOY Sales. In order to start our, our visualization, we need two calculated fields. Right click in the white space, select Create Calculated Field, call the first one 2015 Sales. A very straightforward calculation, if year order date equals 2015, then sales end. Do OK. And let's go ahead and we will save ourselves some time by right clicking that field we just created and doing duplicate. Rename this duplicate field 2016 sales. Right click that pill a second time and do edit. Change the 2015 to 2016. Do OK. Now that we have our two fields, we can build out our visualization. Drag 2015 sales to the column shelf, and on the rows, add category followed by subcategory. We can now add in our 2016 sales. A standard way of doing this is creating a combined axis. So let's go ahead and we'll follow that typical protocol. Drag 2016 sales directly on top of the existing axis. This creates a dual axis. As you can see, this becomes a very large visualization. If we were to move this as is into a dashboard, it may end up getting very squished or we'll have to deal with scroll bars. Either way, it loses its power. We need a way of combining these two marks for each one of our, our rows and still making them have some kind of meaning. Drag measure names from the row shelf to the color mark. Note we are not control dragging. We are moving it from the rows to the color mark. When we do that, we now end up with a stacked bar. We see in our legend over here that our 2015 sales are shown in red and our 2016 in orange. 
since we're going to be stacking these on top of each other, let's adjust these colors to make them a little easier to see. I'm going to click the legend. I'm going to go to edit colors. And I'm going to set 2015 sales to blue and 2016 sales to gray. This makes things easier to read. I can also change my view from standard to entire view at this point. Now, while this shows our data, it really doesn't give us what we want because our two, our two cells are now cumulative. And cumulative doesn't allow us comparison. This time, control drag measure names from the marks card onto the size mark. This creates a copy and it differentiates our two marks by size. We see that in the legend here. This legend is optional at this point. It's pretty clear what we're looking at we can choose to hide this card. We still have a cumulative situation though. Come up to analysis, stack marks, and set it to off. By setting the stack marks to off, we now get both of our cells starting at position zero. We see our 2015 in comparison to our 2016. We're able to get this into a very realistic space, very easy to see, and very easy to read. We can also sort this by hovering over our axis and clicking the sort icon. Note that it is sorting on our 2015 value. It's sorting on our primary measure. Let's see how this looks when we add it into a dashboard. Create the new dashboard button. We're going to change this to an automatic. And we'll first bring over two other visualizations. As we can see, by bringing over these other visualizations, we've already taken up quite a bit of room. If we bring over our new year-over-year -year sales, by using the bar and bar, we still have something that is very legible, very easy to, to read, and provides us with quite a bit of information in this small space. Bar and bar is an excellent way to handle your spacing needs on a dashboard.